Before the bannings, I was playing Red Blue Eldrazi a lot online, and the only turn one play I was really, really worried about was turn one experiment one, uh, because I knew that was the only deck that I felt was faster than mine. So when they banned Eldrazi and unbanned all the control cards like Sword and, and Ancestral Visions, I felt like if everybody else wants to slow down and play, mess around with Thopter Foundry, then I was going to try to speed up. My name is Russell Deutsch, and I'm playing Mono Green Aggro. Mono green aggro is when you put out just a bunch of little overpowered high green density creatures that really never should have been printed, like a 3-3 like a three, three for 2 like Cologne and Tusker or Avatar the Resolute or Dungrove Elder, creatures that use being mono green to their advantage. The overall strategy is to curve out and curve out hard and fast. Well on the low end we have Dryad Militant and Experiment 1. Ideally, these are great to get out on turn one. A Dryad Militant screws around with anybody that's trying to flash anything back from the yard. Uh, Experiment one takes advantage of anything you play after turn one. So they're both good early, good late. On the two slot, we have Cologne and Tusker, which is a vanilla 3-3 for two. Uh, but most, more importantly, we have Strangle Root Geist. Strangle Root Geist, uh, the Undying, is a huge part of the deck. Uh, Avatar the Resolute takes advantage of the Undying on the Strangle Root Geist. It also takes advantage of Scoos, which I'm running three of uh, on the, in the main board. And then on the, on the top end of the curve, which <laughs> we have our three drops, which is Leatherback Balath, which is a four, it's a Siege Rhino for three mana, uh, <laughs> without the, the Lightning Helix. And we have Dungrove Elder, uh, both very, very potent creatures, both very green, green reliant. For the non-creature spells, we're running three Aspect of Hydras, four Rankers, and four Vines of the Vestwood. Those non-creature spells are both very green and, or sorry, usually green intensive, like Vines of Vastwood needs two, needs two green to cast with Kicker. Aspect of Hydra takes advantage of all the green blips, and Ranker is just amazing. In my sideboard, I have two Gut Shots, two Dismembers, a Thrun the Last Troll, two Chokes, two Feed the Clan, two Natural State, two Deglamour, one Unravel the Ether, and one Creeping Corrosion. Uh, Thrun and the Chokes are supposed to be anti-blue, anti-Delver. Not too impressed with the Chokes because there's so many lands that, that create blue mana that are not islands. Feed the Clan is easily the most important card in the sideboard. It's pretty incredible how it catches people off guard so often. The rest of the board is for affinity. The two natural states is cheap artifact removal. Uh, Deglamour, uh, same thing. I should probably just make all of them natural states. Unravel the Ether and Creeping Corrosion. Uh, similar. Um, the weakest point is that it's, it, it has to commit and it has to overcommit because the deck is all about getting on the board early and swinging in for mass amounts of damage. So I'm forced to, into positions where a board wipe can really hurt. Strongest point is that a lot of people aren't expecting it. Nobody, a, the people I sit down to play against have no idea what they're facing just because, you know, it, it's a little bit old school. Um, a, lot of these, a lot of these cards haven't seen play in a while. So I think that's the biggest selling point is that if you're looking to get into modern, this is a great deck to start with. Uh, it's cheap, it's quick, it's easy to understand. You turn things sideways and you beat your opponent in the face.